Oh, no, there was Military Freight to East Riggs Part 1. That might be what you're talking about. Hey, we've got the game. Good afternoon, driver. You have brought a container consist down from Nuneaton where your shift started. You've been held here at a red signal before being allowed to join the North London line at Camden Road. Please continue your journey to Stratford, where another driver will take over you from you from the for the final journey to Phoenix, though. Apparently, I can't talk this morning. Of course, there's no track IR loaded. Never mind. We'll ignore that for the time being. Waiting for that light, and then we can get moving. What train is it? Class 70. Go away, Java. The last thing I'm doing is updating more stuff today. What well, switches? Uh, I can't remember what the um, what this thing's got on it. It's the Master Keys Pro S. <clears throat> they're the ones that aren't fully clicky they're the midway ones Should probably put it in forwards gear it's a bit of a chicken and egg though Rob Allen because I want to do you I want to show it but without scenarios it's difficult to show <clears throat> Already breaking the speed limit seconds into playing the game Yeah, brown sounds about right. I know I did a load of research when I was buying the keyboard, but that was ages ago, and I've slept since then. Good morning, Simsy. How are you? When do we wreck? We try not to. We did have a head-on collision, or a near head-on collision yesterday, but I pressed escape to stop that from happening. Did anyone clip the, um, the near head-on collision, or did uh, you all miss it? Take a scenario and switch the locos. That's a possibility. Yeah, that's a possibility. It depends. Some the scenario, some scenarios will accept that. Some scenarios are wound too tight. They don't work like that. Modalis and Modolas. Uh, though there's, it's not an intense game. Well, it is an intense game in some cases. I mean, they did a scenario yesterday where. Uh, in fact, I've got one coming up today. We've got another Yanchidoba scenario coming up today. Oh my word. Your eyes were closed tight. You've got Zaphod Beeblebrox's um, danger glasses, have you? This is the St Pancras area. We're crossing over the East Coast Main Line and the uh, Midland Main Line. St Pancras and King's Cross over on the right hand side. Crazy Ray, it's not Winnie the Pooh, it's Pudsy. The mascot for the charity that I'm raising money for. No loco background. Oh, I guess I haven't got a class 70 cab set up. Let's have a quick look, see if I've got one.
No, I don't have a class 70. Let's just go with that one. It'll do. Slow down a bit too much. Uh, Sinin, this controller, it's a rail driver you can buy on Amazon. Um, then these are SciTech flight instrument panels. Um, and this is a SciTech backlit information panel. I've then written my own code to make these work with the game. And then the wooden base is just custom built. It is indeed, Captain Jex. It is indeed your scenario. This is a pretty quiet train, actually. Turn up the uh, game volume. Was that, that near spat was just so good, wasn't it, Rob? It was amazing. I'm clearly being held to let one go to the right of me. Sixty-six probably um, better, but I like the seventy in so much as it's not a sixty-six. It sounds like an odd thing to say, but there are so many sixty-sixes they just get boring. Here we go, class three seven eight coming. Tremendous amount of AI on this one, Captain Jenks. That's a cracking scenario you did there, Rob. <laughs> I still can't believe I got away with that. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Good morning, you evil man, lol. You caught me off guard last night. Just wanted to say thanks. Was totally unprepared for that. I'd like to say thank you to you, everyone. <laughs> so we raided um, Jeff. He's just started streaming, and uh, he went from a stream with three people watching to a stream with 150 people watching. So. <laughs> Why can't every train just wait for me? Well, I'm a freight train, so in the UK, freight trains are the lowest of the low, usually. It's not the same as in America, where freight trains rule and the passenger trains have to wait. You're lulling me into a false sense of security now, Rob. Hey, yellow. <coughs> 
across your, la your laptop's updating now as well. It's like Microsoft for crying out loud. We've got a red still on there on this line. PC isn't updating yet, Moggy. I think you should just say your PC isn't updating yet. Just to be on the safe side. Nice slow scenario. Nice slow scenario just to get going. Oh, it's gone dark. Uh, we've got the Javelin coming up after this, which is a high speed train. It looked like it went well to me, Jeff, from what I saw. I sat and watched for a little bit. Got another yellow. Keep going. Yep, 2171, Adrian the Pirate. Uh, top of the morning, oh, and you had a Windows update over the night. I wish I'd mine had happened overnight. They are no. This isn't Denmark. This is North London line um, around uh, north of or the north of London. To be honest, we're heading towards Stratford in the east in the east end. I have to ask: Is that a screen behind you, or do you have a room that's a tray cab of a train? I have a green screen, and I changed the image. the The image on the back is actually a screenshot from this game. And it just changes the damage based on the train that I'm driving. Hey Lee, good morning sir. Good to catch up with you and Kim again yesterday. You're from the future and you have Windows 25 XL and it probably just needed to do an update as well, didn't it? Oh, we're getting a bit more of a gap between the train in front now. We've got a double yellow here. How's it going today? Good, we're just getting started. That's the beeping sound that's just there, that's a safety system. So it means I'm approaching a signal which is not green, so it's warning me, and I have to acknowledge that. <clears throat> like now.
Captain Jenks, am I following this all the way? <laughs> what does the yellow light mean? So that the light tells me how many clear block sections there are in front of the train. Uh, red says there are no clear block sections, hence I'm, I have to stop. Yes, single yellow says there's one clear block section, the next signal after that is red. Double yellow is two, so you get that one, then you get a yellow, then you'll get a red. Green tells me that there is at least three. So green you can, you know, run at a decent speed at. Got you reinstalling train sim now, Lee. Nice. We need to get you hooked up with some train sim wild action. <clears throat> Soul Hunter, you should see German stuff. This is this is easy compared to the German stuff. Dalston Kingsland station coming up. Uh, did I work on the railways? Is pissed off I picked up designing the game. Uh, no, I've never worked on the railways. This, I've, I mean, I'm a, I'm a player. I'm a fan of the game. I have been. I before I worked for Dovetail, um, I was a huge train sim fan. Still am. So. Um, yeah, it's just stuff I've picked up playing the game, talking to other people, learning for myself. It's a simulator, so it's about learning studying the um, how things work in the real world and then replicating that in here and for those of you that are new yes the lights are going on and off in my in my room according to when I go into a tunnel because I'm that much of a geek in the near future wouldn't this just be automated some lines are um, but the generally it's like flying an aircraft and a, a computer can and sometimes does fly a lot of the stuff but you need a human there to cope with the the outlying situations Just gone yellow. Thank you, Nasha. I like playing simulators. I also like, you know, getting out a shoot 'em up game and playing a shoot 'em up game as well, but I don't generally stream those. <coughs> Crazy Ray, that's my dad's train set. But yes, it's it's awesome. Uh, Thotor, is it a custom made controller? So this bit is a rail driver. If you just look up raildriver.com, then you can you can find out about this bit. These are SciTech flight instrument panels um, from FlightSim, and this is a SciTech backlit information panel, and then it's just on a custom mounted um, deck. Uh, and then this is a, an actual AWS button from a real train, which I've wired in. And then the whole thing is just, I've written all the software to make it all work. How do I learn about Pizza B and C? I've had a lot of very patient people explaining a lot of very, very different things. Jan Chidobra actually is really good. He, he gives me, uh, when, I, when I play one of his scenarios, he'll quite often send me an email explaining all of the stuff I did wrong and why I did it wrong and what I should have done instead, which is really, really useful. What scenario am I running now? It's called Phoenix Stowe no Freightliner on the North London line with the Class 70. It's by Captain Jenks. You don't learn pieces of BNC, but you either have the force or you don't. <laughs> Do we have another Yan scenario today? We do indeed. According to the schedule, it's in 30 minutes, but no. <laughs> no, we've got this one, then we've got Passchendaele Dull Javelin, and then we've got Transporter Special, which I think is a new, uh, a new Yan scenario, actually. How big is the map? It's 
quite big. Uh, where are we at the moment? We're here, slowly waking our way to um, Stratford. But yeah, this is the North London Line. So these these maps are one-to-one -one scale with the real world. Yep, you can definitely buy them second-hand transport guide. There's different people. There was someone on here actually the other day, um, just wanting to give his away. All right, Dan Demand, I'll try and remember that. Oh, we're almost at Hackney. So folks, we're at £2,171, which is amazing, but we can do better. What happened to the sky? It's actually on the it's on the, the monitor, it's on the screen of the train. The sky itself is fine, it's just a bit murky, but that's pretty standard UK. It's like a, um, an effect on the um, on the window. Needs more rubbish on the tracks. Well, actually, some people are saying that um, the, uh, the dovetail are putting too much on these days. Transport guide, you can DM me on Discord any time, and then I can I can get it when I get to work. The trains presumably stopped to Hackney Wick. Transportation Euro, I am on all day now until about midnight. What's with the beeping sound? Um, right, let me just show you on the track. It's called AWS, it's the automatic warning system. So if I go up here, there it is, you see this ramp here? That signal is yellow, and this, this ramp and that signal are tied together. And what that means is that when I go over this ramp, and you notice it's in two bits, it arms and triggers, and because that is set to yellow, it'll cause an alarm to go off. Which is basically just saying, you do know that the next signal is not green, yeah? And I press the button to say, yeah, well aware, thank you. If I don't press the button, then all the brakes come on on the train and it stops. And in reality, someone has very harsh words with you. But in the game, you just release the brakes and get going again. I guess we can agree to disagree on that one, truck and nutter. I I'm loving flights in world. Yellow light tells me that there's, um, there you go. So that's a green light beep that I don't have to acknowledge. It says, celebrating by over speeding. 
This is a uh, container freight train, so no, we don't take on too many passengers. And any passengers we do take on, we should report to the British Transport Police. But yes, if you're driving a passenger train, then yeah, you would stop and take on passengers. So what does the yellow light mean? It means that there's a there's, there's not enough sections ahead of me. So green light is telling me there's lots of clear track in front of me, and yellow is telling me that there's there's a red light very close by. So essentially, as you're driving, you'll get green, 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 then it'll eventually start going double yellow, double yellow, single yellow, and then you'll get a red. So double yellow is telling you these are red in two signals, so you can start slowing down. This is Stratford, which will be the end of the scenario, I guess. Uh, John, yes, you can buy TS18 off the Dovetail store. Squish Josh, no, next scenario, we're driving the Class 395 Javelin high-speed train. Stratford Platform 10. Do you do this in real life? No, I actually work for the company that makes this game, Dovetail Games. Yeah, I'm the senior producer for Train Sim World, which is the, the other one, the other train simulator Dovetail produce. Thank you, Slayer. As you get North West Coastal, Chris, you need to pick up um, TS18. It's Dovetail, an American game company. No, nope, it's a British games company. It's based actually just down the road from me in Chatham, in Kent. Just had another another donation come in. I'm just waiting for it to tell me about it. When you produce these games, do you often deal and work with proper trained professionals? Uh, yes, we do quite often. Quite often, in fact, wherever we possibly can. Obviously, they they're busy and they've got work to do, but uh, wherever we can, we certainly try to. Sinan, are any of the classic American GG1 locos? Yes, GG1 is in this. I'm trying to think, actually, have I got? A, I might have a GG1 scenario coming up today. Yes, later on today, we have a scenario uh, with a GG1 on the North Jersey coastline. Steve, aka, don't forget the AWS. Not going to buy a coffee today, so charity can have it. Thank you very much, Steve. Gentlemen, it'd be cool if the green screen background was animated. I have been toying with how I could do that. I was thinking I could run a second copy of the game, have it echo the controls that I'm, you know, mirror the controls I'm doing on this one, and then have the camera pointed out the back. That way, it would be an actual view out the back. So, I haven't actually got that working yet, but. My relief is at the end of the platform. Well, he can walk. Right, that's that one. Good night scenario there, Captain Jenks. Let's just get 